everyone, I'm Amelia and this is the Little Listener's Library. I'm going to read a good old classic book this time, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. Are you ready to listen? Okay, let's go. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through one two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through one, two, three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through one, two, three, four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through one, two, three, four, five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake and one slice of watermelon. That night he had a stomachache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and after that he felt much better. Now, He wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. The end. This is such a great, timeless story that tells us about the incredible process of metamorphosis, where caterpillars build cocoons around themselves and change into a butterfly. It really is incredible. I wonder, have you ever seen a caterpillar on a plant? Maybe in the garden or a park? And have you ever seen a butterfly fluttering around plants or sitting on a leaf? What colours were the ones that you saw? If you could morph, change into another animal, what would it be and why? Why don't you tell a grown-up what animal you would change into and why? If I could morph into another animal, Hmm, I think I would change into a little robin bird. I think it would be fun to be a robin because I could fly anywhere I wanted and live in a little bird house in a tree and look at the sky and trees all day long. I think that would be lovely. I hope you enjoyed this story and thank you for coming to the Little Listener's Library. I hope you'll come back soon.